Whoa, this is the weirdest obstacle I have ever skated in my entire life. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Sam. Me, my wife, and our dog, Sunny, live and travel full-time in our self-converted school bus. And after about 20 hours of driving through Mexico, we've made it to the town of Loreto in Baja, California, sir. And I'm at my very first skate park of the entire trip. I'm so excited to check this place out. We're about five and a half hours from the very tip of the Baja Peninsula, which we will be doing later today. So it is currently 7 a.m. and I really wanted to get my first skate session of the trip. A lot of these Baja skate parks are very small and kind of janky, but this one actually looks a little unique and I'm excited to check it out. Right over here, we have a little box section. The coping is crazy. It's basically like a flat bar, but it's on a ledge, but it actually seems like it could be pretty cool. It's actually a little tall too. It's about like almost to my kneecap. And as you you can see you can actually hit it on the top as well if you want to get a little bit gnarlier then we've got this open flat ground the ground actually is pretty smooth you'll see pretty soon maybe in the next video the skate park that I have skated the most in Mexico, and the ground is not like this. So I'm quite excited about it. We've got a pretty steep quarter pipe, a beautiful little bank. A, if you wanna be crazy, you could hit the rail over here. I'm not crazy, I won't be hitting that, especially at 7 a.m. Then we've got this out ledge and pyramid section with a hubba on the other side. Same thing, th these crazy copings. Like here, take a closer look. This coping is crazy. It sticks out so much, but it could be fun. We've got a little kicker right here, which honestly is probably the thing that I would have skated the most back in the day. We've got the smallest little flop bar right there, which actually looks super fun, but it might be just a little too short. And then we've got this little, once again, with the crazy coping, another ledge over here and another quarter pipe. I'm so excited to skate. I have not skated since my last video because we've been basically driving and when we weren't driving at the beach. So let's get some flat ground warmups. Oh yes, it feels so good to be on the board. God, how exhausting it is to skate at 7 a.m. I've worn shoes in a week. Right here. Ow. <laughs> wow. Morning. Man, I am not a 7 a.m. skater. Ah, wait, what time is that? Dang it, I only have 15 minutes left. Yes. All right, done with flat ground. Now this honestly looks like maybe one of the most fun things I've skated in a long time. Here, let me move the camera a little bit. It's like a perfect little bank, but I feel like it'll, it's like mellow, but I feel like it's gonna give you some good speed. All right, let's get an ollie. Wow, you go quick with that. Yeah, did you, you wanna chase me? Feeling uncomfortable. There's some cleaners cleaning the building right next to us and a little bit of the park, so I'm not trying to get in their way. Kick foot. Ah, scary. I don't know why, it's just a kick foot. I got someone blocking the way. Bud, you're blocking my way. You're blocking the skate spot. Come here. Ah, so scary for some reason, even though it's not that hard of a trick. Also, my kick flips are really bad, but because I don't have a lot of time, I just really want to get this. Ah, that was it. That was it. All right, right here. Yes. I love that. Wow, that is one incredible way to start your day. Such a good adrenaline rush. Let's do it again from down below. Yeah, that felt so good. Ah, damn it, let's go. All right, got my back. All right, I only got 12 minutes left. I gotta hit at least three more obstacles other than this. Ugh. 
So skating in the morning is definitely pretty wild, but I'm so unbelievably hyped to be here that I honestly don't even care. I'm feeling like super energized. Hopefully energized enough to land the trick. Oh, fuck. it's getting hot, it's getting hot quick. Oh, fuck. why can't I just do it just like I did it? Just commit, don't get in your head. Just kickflip. You see this in your sleeve. Let's just be crazy real quick. One try. Oh, I got that. I so got that. All right, I really want to do the backside flip, but I don't want to get stuck. So I'm going to do a couple more obstacles first before I try it again. Let's just get a back 180 off the kicker. Woo, it's a little bigger than I was expecting. Dang. Jesus. I haven't skated something like this in a long time. That's what feels fun. All right, let's get a really nice back 180 and then I'll get a different angle of it. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling good. I usually don't skate this good at like 7 a.m. I'm feeling great. Maybe because I'm just excited to be here. One more angle. Whoa, how did I land that? <laughs> Whatever. All the obstacles has been really fun, but I'm gonna finally attempt to skate the weird angled ledge. Let's just start with the 50. Oh geez, I am ter- wow, I am terrified of this ledge. I feel like I'm gonna like slip out on a ledge. Like, look, you can like full on just like do a smith like a rail. Whoa, this is such a strange feeling. It's one thing I've noticed about skate parks that are built outside of the country. They're obviously not gonna be like the skate parks in the US, but they always have very unique quirks. Like I've never seen a ledge like this before. It's essentially a ledge and a rail at the exact same time. So doing a 50-50, I literally like my wheels are directly on the ledge like rolling. So. I feel like I could try and like do like a straight up feeble grind on this where I don't even touch the ledge. Well, let me just do a 50 and then let's try the feeble. Jeez, you know I'm not even gonna 50 it. I'm just gonna go straight for a feeble because I don't got time. I think I'd be much more happy with a feeble. Oh my God, now I'm scared it's just a board slide. Dang, I got three minutes. Whoa, this is the weirdest obstacle I have ever skated in my entire life. Ooh, that's gonna be sick. Right here, it's not wax, but I think I can go fast and push it. Come on, two minutes left. Oh, that was it. All right, come on, right here. Ah, it's so sticky. Ah, I got 30 seconds on the clock. Yes. Ah. Oh, on the timer, exactly. Not clean, but I'm gonna take it. 740, yes. All right, so that was honestly like a very fun, very quick session. So I didn't get a lot of tricks, but we have a six hour drive to get from Loreto all the way to the bottom of Toto Santos in Baja, Mexico. I am so excited to be back. Mexico is where me, Kelly, and Sunny all shine. We love Mexico so much. Thank you all so much for watching. There's a lot more content coming out. Be sure to subscribe for weekly videos. I'm gonna be going to local skate spots, Mexico skate parks. Maybe I'll add in a few vlogs here and there. If you guys want that, comment below what you want more of. I'm very excited to be documenting my skating in this way. It's very fun. And ever since we hit the road two and a half years ago, I've always wanted to do this. So I'm really excited that I finally decided to say F it and do it. It's been really fun for the first month. I'm excited to keep it pushing. Thank you all again. I'd love to build a community on here. If you wanna see more of me and my travels on a more daily basis, you can follow us on Instagram at Sam and Kelly's Van. I, it could be here, it could be there. I'm not sure. It'll be in the description below or on YouTube at Sam and Kelly. We post more travel content and cinematic content on that channel. So we really would love to see you there too. Love you guys. I'll see you on the next video.